We're going to create a forum now. You can add this in any block that you want to by clicking the add activity or resource. So I'm going to go, let's go right into week two. This is the second week. I'm going to add an activity or resource. I already have forum starred, but if you don't have forum starred, you can go over to all and then click on forum to star or unstar. You click this little star, but I'm going to click the forum. I'll call it week two forum. And give it a much better name than that. Uh, description, a lot of times, this is a good place to put the instructions of what to do. You can force the instructions to be displayed on the course page if you want. Uh, just to warn you, if you make everything displayed on the course page, it's gonna look very crowded. So I usually avoid displaying descriptions on the course page unless I think it's really important. So I'm not gonna display that there. So you can make a, you do need a due date on most of your activities and you can pick it off the date picker here. So I like to have things due Monday nights. A lot of people like Sundays, Fridays, Saturdays, or Sundays or Mondays. So I'll do Monday, May 10th. This time is super important. You don't have to pick a certain time, but I recommend you be consistent with your time. So I like to add things due right before midnight. So students have the whole day but you may want things due at a certain time, but I recommend you be consistent with your time. So pay attention. This defaults to whatever the current time is. So it will not be consistent if you don't pay attention to it. There's a lot of options here. I'm not gonna go through most of these. They're pretty obvious attachments. Uh, students can add attachments to their posts automatically. If you wanna reduce that number, you can change it to two and it limits it to or zero, meaning you can't have any attachments. Okay, what else is useful? Ratings, here we go. This is how you can grade them much more quickly. And we'll go with, uh, I like to do count of ratings or sum of ratings. And usually I make this uh, like one or two, the number, which would be the number of, uh, ratings that they need to get full points. So go to 10 grade category. You can, uh, and if you're wondering why everything's spelled weird, this is the British spelling. Uh, they like S instead of Z, but I'll put this in the forum section and you could put a grade to pass. And I'll hit save and display. All right, so that is how to create a forum. I've already showed you the same way you post in it is, is exactly how you create a, a student introduction, except you just do this inside your forum, add a new discussion topic, and you can see the instructions that I wrote are right here.